Hello guys, it's your girl Onana and this is Onana Nation. So if you're new here, a very special welcome to you. Please go ahead and subscribe because you are definitely going to love it here. On this channel, we talk all things entertainment, we talk about African recipes and we do lifestyle. So please go ahead and subscribe as we dive into today's topic. So today we're going to be doing updates on Sang Zilong's husband. His name is Wangji Cyril. Cyril has a case against Eris Mary. Eris Mary is um, a woman of God, like she's a pastor, she's a mom of three kids and she's married and she has a whole husband of her own and she's married to a very powerful influential man. And on the other hand, we have Cyril who is married to Sang Zilong, a Cameroonian actress, like a little girl with a young girl who is pushed for entrepreneur. Unfortunately, she came and fell in the hands of this guy with all his drama, all his baggage and all the news around his name. So this is a new union, this is a new wedding that they just got married last week. And you would expect that Sang Zilong will be having the feelings of the latest bride in town. You know what's up? Like when you get married, all this excitement, all this happiness, like this is the honeymoon phase. She's supposed to be waking up to her darling husband every morning. Unfortunately, things have unraveled the way they have. And it's just uh, it's just getting messy by the day. So today, here is the updates we have on this case. Um, a little backstory. Um, Cyril is owing a Rizmary 38 million. Allegedly, we haven't seen any proof yet. We've just been hearing what here and there. So Cyril Siri was dating Eris Mary at a certain point in time and they started transacting in money and all that stuff. The lady gave him 38 million to invest in a business, allegedly. He took 38 million from her and she hasn't seen the money. She hasn't seen any progress on the business, no return on investment. She's like, huh, guy, you want to play me? You want to date me and break my heart and shame me and still carry my money and go over my dead body? You will pay that money. We die here. <laughs> so Eris Mary has been asking her money from Cyril and Cyril has been dodging, dodging, dodging. And all this is allegedly according to what we heard. Nobody was there. So all this is according to the internet. Sources from Esau Dile, sources from Better Things and, you know, a lot of Cameroonians on the ground. So the lady has been asking Siri the money. Siri actually told the lady, okay, I'm going to pay you. Give me some time. The Siri gave the lady um, some land documents that you can sell my land and get some money from there. I'm going to sell some of my, um, you know, property, some of my assets and give you money. So when the time came for him to follow his um, words with action, Oga started doing Dilly Darling. So he promised all these promises. I'm going to sell my things and give you money. I'm going to give this. I'm going to give that. Time now for him to follow the words with action. Time now for him to actually sell the things and give the lady the money. He did not do it so the lady has been running around him asking for her money asking for her money so Cyril now said he was like but this woman they asked me the money now so say my do her i don't have money and then maybe his friends have advised him like the boy you're dating this girl for all this time she will not send you news she will not send you videos you can use the videos and blackmail her low so that's how the friends kind of got into his head like you can do something to blackmail this lady at the end of the day she's the one who has everything to lose i mean she's a pastor her congregation everybody her church is going to fall down she's a married woman her husband is going to drive her from the house she has kids her kids are going to feel so embarrassed of their mom so according to the friends advice they were like let's blackmail this woman she has so much to lose she's definitely going to back down so this is a poor woman who gave it 38 million. Now she wants to ask her money in town war. Siri started releasing video after video after video of the lady. You know when they were dating. This is the married woman having an affair with Cyril, the young guy. So when they were dating, the lady would send videos to Cyril all the time. I love you, Cyril. I miss you, Cyril. This lady has even said that she thinks Cyril is her soulmate. Cyril is the one she was supposed to marry. That's somebody's wife. Oh. So Cyril now in his little mind, he must have thought, okay, I have a lot of receipts against this woman. I can use it to defame her character or to blackmail her or to insult her in people's eyes or whatever. So Cyril used all these videos and all this stuff and put on the internet. And then now people were like, chai, until you get her to... So you sleep inside your master's house on top bed, you record yourself, sign up for your, your side dude until you get courage, Joe. People have hurt in this outside. So a lot of people were insulting this woman when they saw that video that Chai and T, married woman, you'll be sending videos of professing love, confessing love to a young guy out there when you're in somebody else's house. Women will kill you or women know. People were blasting her all kinds of ways. You know, and seriously released another video again. Couple of videos upon videos and people were like, Chai. So it was evident that this woman was dating Cyril. But all these things don't matter because the problem at hand is the money. Did you take her money or not? Forget about the dating part. We were not there when it started. So why do we have to see all these intimate videos right now? What if the lady start releasing your own videos that you sent to her or you never sent her any video? I don't know. So that's not even the matter here. That one is by the way. Cyril thought that when he was releasing all this video upon video, it was going to make the woman to back down. But can her femme say fâche le secret est dehors? This is a woman who said her own husband has not touched her in 13 months or not 13 years. So, so does it look to you like she's afraid to lose that husband? Husband. her mind is not there anymore 
mentally she has already lost the mind mentally she has already lost the mind but she doesn't care anymore so the woman was like Siri, you want to embarrass me after taking my money after making my heart we die here we will go the whole nine yards together so the woman did everything she could to get Cyril on the wedding day she sent police officers to come and arrest Cyril to come and give him an undertaking to sign that he was going to pay her money Siri, one of Cyril's friends signed the undertaking. Cyril has not made any payment so far. Nothing to nothing. And the woman was like, this guy is a big fool. So the woman got really mad. Not only have you taken my money, you want to insult me, you want to disgrace me, you want to rob my family, my ministry, my church. You want to bring everything down. Okay. They say, can la femme se fâche? Not only le secret de or They also say, hell hath no fury like a woman's corn. So the woman went to the police station. She was like, okay, this is how Cyril wants to play it. I'm going to show him that I am a rosemary and my feet are solidly planted on the ground so the lady has money she has connections she has people she has influence she has affluence so she went to the commissariat and took a travel ban a travel restriction against cereal she was like i'm going to see how you are going to leave this country without paying my money i'm going to see because she knows that cereal is um, a u.s citizen so he may attempt running he may attempt going back to the u.s to cool his head for a few months or a few years or whatever so she saw that coming because she knows Cyril has been dating him so she saw that coming she knows that his next move will be to run out of the country and she will not have a way to get her money so she went and took a travel ban a travel restriction against cereal and then she served in the document uncle you will not no she didn't serve in the document she just took a travel ban sent it to the necessary um offices and to the airports and all these places with his name and pictures and everything like if you guys see a guy with this passport with this name you guys should block him or you should not travel now oga siri that no honeymoon you're supposed to be enjoying with our poor zilong i feel so bad that zilong is caught in the midst of all this wahala i don't think this lady knew about this guy before getting married to him or even if she knew you know guys lie maybe the guy must have told her like one or two percent of his old cicatrice i don't think she knew everything before going ahead to marry him like that would really be real love knowing all these things and still going down the path with him that would really be real love so um poor zilong now um has gone back to nchang where her restaurant is where a few other of her businesses are located and she's just hustling, you know. And then she's putting things on her statues, putting things everywhere. And they're a newly wedded couple. When you see a husband, when you see the wife in Chang, you would assume that the husband too is with her in Chang. But that was not the case. Siri was in Yaoundé attempting to escape. Siri was caught at the airport trying to travel. I don't know where he was going to. I don't know what his um, destination was. But Siri went to the airport there in Yaoundé and he was apprehended by police officers. They caught him and they took him back to jail. They're like, oh, you want to travel? You, your name is on the no flight list what have you done now they took him to jail they arrested him pam 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 that's the level at which we are today so this is a very interesting case i'm definitely going to keep tabs on this case any updates we have i'm going to bring it to you guys Cyril as that now is arrested you can imagine the poor zilong she should be waking up to her husband every morning because they are a newly wedded couple she's the latest bride in town she should be waking up making breakfast in bed for her husband and the husband making her breakfast in bed too this is the time when they're supposed to be dipping you know strawberries in chocolate and eating and you know enjoying the honeymoon stage of marriage unfortunately she has to be cooking food flask every day and carrying to a kondengi or on the same day with tm or whichever jail they took her to you can imagine a poor bride like you are like the young lady who just got married you're happy all the butterflies in your stomach you want to see which direction this marriage takes you you you're looking forward to living your life with your husband you have the kind of wife you want to be you want to be like a sweet person to your husband you want you guys to be happy you know wake up in the morning take care of his needs and you know he takes care of you too and you guys live well be transparent and open to each other and all that stuff unfortunately that has been taken away from you that opportunity to love has even been taken away from you because if you see joe you're going to be loving from a distance like there's no difference between you and somebody who is dating somebody who is in Dubai. Or there's no difference between you and somebody who is dating somebody who is in America. Because right now, there's a whole difference between both of you. And he is in jail. He's incarcerated. So the only time you have to see him is to go and sit behind windows, behind iron bars, and be like, Be I love you. Be hanging there. Everything is going to be okay. Can you imagine how tormenting this will be for a young girl? You just got into a marriage, bam, trouble from the first day. So, um, Dylan, we just wish you the best. And I don't know how you guys are going to solve this moving forward. The only next available option is for Siri to get a lawyer, get a solid lawyer, a good lawyer who can fight for him. Every Mary has her lawyer, Siri has their own lawyers, and the case is going to go to court when it goes to court and they're going to decide, I mean, who has um who took what from who and to the tune of what money is it up to 38 million as you're saying they're going to be dragging all those things. Where was the money taking? Where's the evidence? Where is this? Where is that? <clears throat> 
excuse me so it's going to be a lot of back and forth and in the courtroom it's going to be nasty too because this is really going to be crazy and it's going to break the lungs heart too because cyril has all these videos from eris mary imagine you are dating okay let me say me i like to put myself in the place you're dating me i am the long the cameronian actress you know the entrepreneurial lady and all that stuff and you still have affairs with eris mary even if you don't have affairs with eris mary you guys have broken up why do you have all her videos like who has videos of their ex on their phone i mean cyril was keeping receipts that means he must have known that a rainy day would come he must have known that there's going to be danger ahead so he was keeping all the videos this lady was sending to him to use it against her in the future so you can see the guy's mindset he must have done this before equally we have so many other ladies coming out today to say they know cereal these are the kind of things he does there's one other lady who has come out so far to say this is what cereal did to her in the past he took money from her blah 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 to invest and he never gave her the money back and she never saw any investments no return on investment some other lady said cereal tried to do it to her but she was smart she reasoned the guy she was like who is this guy huh why is he asking me about money so much why is he asking me about how much i'm earning and why why does he want me to invest in his business this hard he's asking me to invest he's asking me to give him money like her huh? my sense know the god for this guy you so you can see that allegedly this is all by esot zealous and you know better things so i got just from both of them and a lot of cameroonians on the ground too so you can see how this is the kind of person whom siri has been all this while how did the log not see this i mean women are smart we have intuition sometimes you suspect something sometimes we like think something is not right somewhere you know when a man is being straight with you and you know when a man is being cunning with you you may not know exactly that this is what he's doing you may not know exactly where the problem is coming from but sometimes you feel like something is not right with this guy so did the long do her findings did she do all her search before marrying this guy because you guys know african guys before they marry a woman the whole family will come to your compound they'll be searching they'll come to your neighborhood they'll be asking people things how was this girl growing up how was she as a young lady was she promiscuous was she respectful does she have moral values before an african man marries a woman the african man's family all the aunties the sisters they'll be going to the woman's neighborhood they'll be asking questions about the woman from people the african women we don't ask we don't do our findings we are so happy to get the ring we're so happy to be missus we're so happy to be engaged we're so happy to be like the latest bride in we don't do our findings i feel like a little background search on siri would have prevented the long all this embarrassment i like to say embarrassment i feel like a little background search on siri like would have prevented the long from all this embarrassment today this is just crazy a young beautiful girl who, sh who should be enjoying her honeymoon unfortunately her name is being dragged into something she wasn't there when it started so Siri was dating this Eris Mary all along. Siri, you know that this woman is a married woman. You're dating somebody's wife. Eris Mary, you know that you're married. You're dating a younger guy. You're stepping out on your husband. You're being adulterous. So you can see both of them were having unsanctimonious relationships and it didn't end there. Money was involved. And today things are going sideways. We're beginning to hear names. I did this. He did this. And all this stuff. Videos are coming out on the internet. Which, by the way, is not the substance of the case here. All of this, uh, by the way. So 38 million is involved. That's a whole lot of money. That's a whole lot of cash. I don't know how he's going to pay this money from behind jail. Maybe they're going to come pay bail and take him back home. Maybe he's going to start selling some assets. I hear he has land here and there. He has to sell a couple of lands and give her the money. He also has a business where he supplies poles to people, electric poles to NAO and so many other private companies. So hopefully NAO can pay him any day soon and he can get the money and pay this lady so all this wahala can end. Sang Zilong does not deserve this. She's a lady who has been very respectful. She's a lady who's very hardworking. She's very creative. We've never heard her name in any scandal on the internet. All she does is her comedy and her acting and her acting. And she has a good personality. She's really lovable. I mean, she does not deserve all this drama that people are dragging her into today. I feel bad for her. So if can somehow um, surmount this challenge and pay this lady her money, money find a way to pay the money and go back home to his bride go back home to his newly wedded bride and be a good husband to the long and he should put his hand on his chest and swear that going forward eh from here on out i'm going to be an amazing husband i'm going to be a straightforward guy i'm not going to collect money from anybody when i know i'm not going to deliver i'm going to try my best to you know give my word my my word should be my bond as a man and anything i say i should make sure i back it with actions i follow it up with actions i'm not going to collect money from anybody my name is not going to be involved in any scandal i mean he owes that to Dilong. Dilong is a very hardworking young lady an entrepreneur a young lady she doesn't deserve any of this drama so serial Please, Oga, fix your life, fix everything. Old, um, pay this lady's money that you owe her and, you know, 
clear your name and start on a fresh new page everybody deserves a second chance if this is who you were in the past okay we don't hear your name has come on social media everybody has your file try and change uncle try and change settle this case and then try to live a straightforward life from here on out so this was supposed to be a live video by the kids are up um, making noise and playing everywhere so that's why i decided to do a little recording a straight recording i'm not editing anything on this video I'm going to upload it as it is with all my rants and everything. So yeah, I think with that, we've come to the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to give you updates on this serious case. He is currently in jail. When they go to court, I'm going to come back and give you guys updates. How the case goes, I'm going to give you updates. Anytime we have any new developments on this case, I'm going to come back and keep you guys updated. Thank you guys so much for watching. I remain your girl on Nana. If it is your first time on this channel, please don't go without subscribing. Like and comment. Tell me what you think about the topic in the comment section below. Hello. I love you guys. Stay safe, everybody, and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.